In the previous episode, we were left with one group up in the mountains above the valley. In this episode, we can see them walking down towards the main valley after hearing the French transmission. It's getting dark. Pick up the pace. Pick. A little louder. We should make camp. What, here? Yes, here. Just to be safe, they camp here for the night. This downward slope is also the same place where they jumpstart the Dharma van in season 3. We're now on September 24th, their third day on the island. In the morning, the signal party comes back to the crash site and informs the group. Jack has created a tent on the right hand side of the fuselage, where he is tending the marshal's wounds. On this morning, several survivors are looking through their luggage. Jin sends Sun away to clean herself up. <laughs> At some point it rains, and Michael promises Walt that he will start looking for his dog as soon as it stops raining. When he enters the jungle, he winds up in a palm grove area. This area, originally filmed at Dillingham Ranch in Oahu, is the same filming location as the place they shot the polar bear in the last episode. However, since they ventured way up in the mountains, we can admit that this is not supposed to be the same location, even though it was filmed in the same place. This isn't the first time we'll venture into this problem while mapping the show. Michael hears some boar noises and runs out of this area and into sun topless. <laughs> that night, Kate gets into the tent with the marshal. Harley is confused as to why Jack would leave her alone in the tent with the marshal while she has a gun on her. Jack sprints to the tent and witnesses Kate leaving out the back. He hears a gunshot. Soya exits the tent, gun in hand. Jack gets back in the tent, the marshal stops screaming and Jack exits the tent. Jack has euthanized the marshal. After this ordeal, Jack takes the body and buries him in the woods. This wasn't seen on the show, but we'll get back to the marshal's body in the episode, whatever the case may be. I buried him, Kate. I know. Where? The next day, Locke sits at a more quieter part of the beach, on the left-hand side of the fuselage, and uses the whistle he has made to call for Vincent. Jack is sitting silently, staring at the surf alone as Kate sits down next to him. Before Walt and Michael wakes up, Locke ties the dog and lets Michael hand him over to his son. Before we end the episode, I'll add in one more situation that happens. Jack is greeted by a new character. You're the doctor, right? Yeah, that's me. This is from another Mobisode. I mentioned them in the previous episode. This was a series of 13 Mobisodes or Webisodes which were released weekly on Verizon, mobile phones and 6 days later on ABC.com. They were called Missing Pieces that featured new scenes incorporated into the existing storyline of Lost. This one featured the first meeting between Jack and Ethan. Ethan hands him a case full of medicine that he claims they found in the jungle. As of this moment, Ethan is now infiltrating the middle section survivors. Stay tuned for the next episode, Walkabout.